Hi everybody, so today this video is going to be all about how to change out your belly button piercing. I've had my belly button piercing now for about two years, so I've been changing them a lot since I got it and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But first I want to start off with a couple of things that you will need. Um, the first thing is obviously um, the belly button ring that you're going to be changing it to. Um, I will be changing it to this one. I hope you guys can see that. It's kind of like a little chandelier type belly button ring with little dangly jewels on it. And I got it from Amazon. If you're wondering about all my other belly button rings, I do have a body jewelry collection video and I will link all of that below. So that's the first thing you will need, obviously. And then the next thing you will need is some antibacterial soap. I will be using Provon, which you will see later on in this video because I totally forgot to bring it in here while I started filming this. But yes, um, some antibacterial soap. I'm using Provon, which is totally fine. Um, any other antibacterial soap will work just fine as well. Um, the next thing is some hand sanitizer because you want to make sure that you have perfectly clean hands 100% of the time. This one is just a generic brand um, by Germex. So just that one. This was only like a dollar, I think at a dollar store. So, And then this is optional, but I will be using um, some cotton swabs. Um, I'll explain more when that step comes, but they just look like this. They're just simple, standard cotton swabs, and I will explain why you need those, but that's a totally optional step. It helps me, but yes. Okay, so before we start with the whole process, I just want to say that there are different types of body jewelry. There is external externally threaded body jewelry and internally threaded body jewelry and there is a difference if you don't know the difference um, Kinky Nikki 4 from YouTube has a really good video explaining the difference between external and internal and I will be linking that video below um, if you guys want to check that out all of my body jewelry that I own is externally threaded that's how it's always been um, ever since I even when I got pierced with it it was externally threaded which you know is fine there's really no right or wrong body jewelry to use but you know if you do want to know the difference just in case you know what you would like more she does have a video explaining that so i will link that below as well and i will be linking a couple other videos below like how i clean my belly button piercing and all about it so if you want to check those out those will all be in the description box below and i think i have covered everything so i think we can go ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to want to do is definitely wash your hands um, I will be washing my hands with an antibacterial soap and then I will be washing the new belly button ring with the Provon antibacterial soap. It's really important to clean the jewelry before you put it inside your body just to get rid of any bacteria that may be on it from you know previous times or just sitting in your jewelry box or whatever. So you're just going to want to um, wash your hands so I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is my belly, and then this is the belly button ring that I currently have. I posted a picture on Instagram of when I got this belly button ring, but it's just a little Playboy bunny with a little red eye gem. So I washed my hands, and next thing we're going to do is put some hand sanitizer on, which is really important. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in my hands and just rub it in to make sure we get all the little germies off. And then after you let that set, you can go ahead and start to take out the old one. And it's best to hold the belly button ring at the base, like so. And then take the top ball and twist it off. Now sometimes, like when you get it pierced for the first time, it might the ball might be quite tight. So you're just going to want to twist it off to whatever way is loose. So once you have that, the ball is totally separate, so it just looks like that, I don't know if you can see that, like that. So that's the ball that comes off, and then the belly button ring, after you take the ball off, you just want to grab it and slide it down through the bottom, and then there you go. This is what my belly button looks like without a belly button ring. It's really weird to see, and I know those of you who don't have belly button piercings probably think yours looks normal without one, but to me this looks totally abnormal. and you know, that weird cute little hole we got going on there. So after you take the old one out, 
that cotton swab that I showed you in the beginning is right here and I actually got it wet with just water and I actually like to take it and rub it around my um, belly button piercing. This helps um, slide in the new piercing a lot easier. It's kind of like a little um, lubricant, kind of like H2 lotion. And then after you do that, you're going to want to take the belly button ring that you're changing it to, which is this one. And when you're ready, just take it from, you know, the base of it like this. And you're going to want to try to find the hole in the bottom and then work your way through the top. If this is your first time changing your belly button ring, I would have someone else there to help you. I know my first time changing it, I had to have my boyfriend do it because I couldn't find the hole. And which is totally normal. Just if this is your first time, it's best to just have someone there who doesn't mind helping. So now you're just going to want to take it into the bottom and slide it through the top like this. So there you go. That's what it looks like once you put it in. And then you're just going to take the ball. And since mine are externally threaded, the um, I have to screw the ball over top of the track like this. So just slide it on. And then to make sure it's really tight, just grab the base and grab the ball and twist really hard to make sure that's tight. And then there you go. That's how you change a belly button piercing. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's quite easy for me because I've had it for two years. So, you know, I've had a lot of practice changing it, but you know, once you start to change it for the first few times, then it will be quite easy for you as well. But that's what it looks like. So yeah, awesome. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informational. I hope you could see everything okay. I tried to get at the best angle and lighting that I could, but it's really straightforward. All it does is just take some practice but you will get it eventually, I promise. If you have any questions, you know, that I haven't answered in any of my other videos, go ahead and just ask me and I will be more than happy to answer you. It's a really cute piercing. It really looks good on everybody. So if you want to get it, I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so if I think I covered everything, um, I think we are all set. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.